All right, guys. Another question I get on almost every shotgun video I post is, can I shoot slugs from my choke barrel? Well, let's take a look. Guys, uh, can I shoot slugs through it, through my full choke shotgun? Is kind of a kind of a vague question. Um, you know, there's a lot of different types of shotguns out there, and there's a lot of different types of slugs. Um, I'm gonna try to answer it in a very generalized way today. Number one, I have to assume that you're you're shooting a shotgun with a fixed choke. Uh, if you've got removable screw-in chokes. You know, take them out, get you a cylinder or an improved cylinder. You'll have better uh, results shooting slugs through those anyway. But, uh, and I'll have to assume that you're shooting American style Foster slugs. That's what I use in all my videos. Uh, when you see me shooting slugs, unless I say otherwise, I'm shooting Foster style slugs. But, uh, now I've got some screw in chokes set up over here just to show the difference in the size of the choke in relation to the slug but uh like i say if you were actually using screw in chokes and not fixed chokes then you would just change it out for a better choke so let's take a look at them here all right let's get started by taking a look at the slug itself uh this is remington's slugger rifled slugs remington has it right on the box that uh these slugs can be fired through any choke. Now the rifling on the slug is not not there to impart spin so much as it is to give uh, room for the displaced lead as this slug swages through the choke. And uh, it does have the hollow base and the slug is, is soft. So it's got room to, uh, to swage down as it goes through a choke. And it was designed that way purposely. Uh, it was invented by well, you guessed it, a guy named Foster, Carl Foster. Uh, he invented this slug during the Great Depression to give people a, uh, an option to deer hunt with their old smoothbore single shot choke shotgun. So it was designed to shoot through a smoothbore with a choke. Now I've got five of the most common chokes that you're gonna run into in a fixed choke. These are obviously screw-in chokes. I've got them out because it's a lot easier to handle five screw-in chokes than it is five barrels with fixed chokes. So uh, just using screw-in chokes as an example. Uh, like I said, I think I mentioned earlier, if you were using a shotgun that had screw-in chokes, you'd probably be using one of these two, uh, maybe even the modified, but you wouldn't go any tighter than that or, or I wouldn't see you going any tighter than that. So you've probably got, if you're asking this question, you've probably got a fixed choke in either modified or full. Those are the two most common in a fixed choke. But just to show the differences in relativity to the slug, this is a cylinder bore choke. The slug will drop, almost drop clean through it, it barely barely has any friction in there. Now, next we have the uh, improved cylinder and it's, uh, let's do it from the bore end. This would be the muzzle end if you guys aren't familiar with screw-in chokes. But the slug would travel in this direction. And you can see it catches in the improved cylinder because you've added a little more choke. You can push it through and it'll swage through. Oh. But, so you've got a little tighter fit and you want a good snug fit. Uh, that's probably gonna give you your best accuracy and that's why, that's why they mention on the box, uh, improved cylinder provides best results because you got that good snug fit. Up next, we get into a modified choke. 
now we're uh, we've added a little more choke than improved cylinder so now now things get really tough to push it through you can see we've got some swaging going on the uh, rifle rifling on the slug is starting to flatten a little you can see some of the lead swage back around the back and it's kind of designed like a shuttlecock to keep it stable as it's traveling through the air but uh so up next would be improved modified again take it up a notch even tighter now i'm really having to use some force But, as you can see, the slug will swage through the choke. Got a lot more flattening of the rifling. And you can see some of that lead swage back on the back of the choke, or the back of the slug. And then last, and this is the one that I get the most questions about. Can I shoot? A slug through a full choke which is the purpose of this video you'll probably if you shoot a bunch of them you'll probably open your choke tube up to uh to an improved modified or modified over time because you're going to put a lot of wear on that choke i'm not even sure if i can push this slug through there with this marker i've got i'll give it a try here it's a really tight fit it's going to go let's see here you can see it's trying to come out the muzzle end that's the tightest portion of the choke all right sorry i had to take it off camera to uh to force it through the choke tube it's uh it just shows how tight that it is through a full choke but you can see the uh, the rifling has been flattened. Hopefully you can see that. And the slug has been swaged through the full choke. All right, guys, one more, one more thing real quick. Let's measure the slug that we swaged through the cylinder bore. Try to get that where you guys can see it. 730 thousandths yeah 730 thousandths versus the slug that we swaged through the full choke uh, 698 thousandths so quite a bit of difference so guys uh, I guess my take on it is yes it is safe to uh, shoot a slug, a foster style slug through a full choke. You know, I always check with the manufacturer first and, and like I say, Remington's got it right on the box. But uh, you know, if you're doing something different than what I'm showing here today, of course, manufacturers are gonna override anything I'm saying. I'm just uh, being real general here. And uh, really, there's no real good reason to be shooting slugs through a full choke in the first place, you know. If it's absolutely the only way you've got to put meat on the table, you know, go for it. it it's safe. You're just going to, you're going to lose your accuracy. You're going to wear your choke tube, you know, unnecessarily. But, uh, you know, short answer is yes, it's, it's safe to do and fine to do. Long answer is there's a lot better options. Uh, hope you learned something today. Uh, we'll talk at you again soon.